Charles Whelan, Naked Statistics, Stripping the Dread from the Data. Dive into the world of statistics and discover how data shapes and influences various aspects of daily life with Naked Statistics, Stripping the Dread from the Data by Charles Whelan. Understand the practical applications of statistics, from predicting election results to assisting in personal financial decisions. In this summary, explore crucial lessons on how to use statistics effectively, learn the importance of understanding different data types like mean, median, and average, and see how companies benefit from examining statistical data. Grasp essential concepts such as correlation versus causation and the limitations of statistical models in predicting complex outcomes. Statistics, a versatile tool. Statistics is a fundamental tool that summarizes complex information into easy-to-understand numbers, serving as a guideline for measuring almost everything. From making more accurate personal decisions about investing in companies to identifying patterns within data, statistics empower individuals to make better decisions. Amidst the wealth of data in our information age, statistics are vital in helping companies calculate investment risk and insurance premiums. On a daily basis, people use statistics in various ways, whether it's to discuss grade point averages, test curves or even batting averages. Although statistics sometimes get a bad reputation for being a tool for falsification of facts, when used correctly, statistics enable researchers to identify patterns, make accurate predictions, and help people make informed decisions. For instance, Netflix recommends movies to customers based on statistics, predicting which movies a customer is likely to enjoy based on the probability of liking similar films. Therefore, statistics are a versatile tool that can be used for various purposes, ranging from predicting election results to identifying potential carcinogens. The Power of Statistical Language Statistics can mean the difference between profit and loss for organizations. Understanding the distinctions between mean, median, and average in demographics is crucial. Quality data is essential, and context is crucial when interpreting figures. Companies can use numbers to identify defects, but they must remedy the actual problem. Statistics also consolidate complicated variables into simple figures for comparison, such as in sports competitions. Misleading statistics don't be fooled by statistics that don't tell the whole truth. The book emphasizes that while math is exact, people use statistics to describe math, which leaves room for error and shades of the truth. To avoid being misled, it is important to know the basis of the stats you use. The book provides examples of how descriptive statistics work, and how mean life expectancy can be a better indicator of the effectiveness of a drug than median life expectancy. The book also warns readers not to give undue attention to popular rankings, such as U.S. News and World Report's college rankings, as factors that are not measured, like academic reputation, can heavily influence those rankings. The book advises readers to be critical of statistics, ask questions, and examine the data to ensure they are getting the full picture and not just a manipulated or biased interpretation. Beware of correlation. The number of TVs a student has at home does not determine their SAT score. It is family income that makes the real difference. This is because correlation does not equal causation. While changes in one variable may coincide with changes in another, they may not necessarily be the cause. Therefore, we should be careful when interpreting data to avoid falling into the trap of assuming causation from correlation. Probability, investing, gambling, and DNA. Understanding the principles of probability is crucial in navigating life's uncertainties. Whether it's investing in the stock market or playing roulette, there is always a degree of risk involved. High risk can yield high rewards, but it all comes down to statistical likelihood. The chance of an event occurring may be minuscule, but that can be a good thing, as it makes it a reliable identifying factor, like DNA. Insurance companies profit from the rarity of car theft, but the more valuable the car, the higher the insurance premium. Predictive analytics is an effective tool in determining the probability of an event, 
which can be used to make informed decisions. Probability is an essential aspect of our lives, but it's important to remember that statistics are only as reliable as those who use them. While the probability of winning the lottery may be slim, it's not impossible, as someone will eventually win. Probability is all about understanding and analyzing patterns to make informed decisions about life's uncertainties. Rethinking the Value at Risk Model The Value at Risk VAR, model, which tried to predict the probability of investments making or losing money, had three fundamental flaws. It assumed that financial markets were predictable and failed to take past performance context and potential cataclysmic events into account. The obsession with false precision led to its downfall, and the 2008 stock market collapse laid bare its shortcomings. The VAR model highlights the need for analysts to use their judgment rather than blindly following formulas. Analysts must verify findings based on correlated data and avoid assuming event correlation without seeking causation. Good data is key. The adage, garbage in, garbage out, holds true in statistical analysis. Good results require good data, meaning the sample size must match the population, and individuals must be chosen randomly. Bias in data collection can lead to inaccurate results. Researchers may struggle to obtain representative samples, leading to selection bias, or encounter intentionally or accidentally misreported data. Inaccurate data leads to faulty analysis, but assuming all statistical figures are biased can help mitigate potential errors. Good data is essential in achieving accurate and reliable results. The Power of Statistics Discover how statistics can help researchers make broad inferences about a population with just a small representative sample. The central limit theorem lies at the heart of this approach, allowing researchers to draw accurate conclusions even when the distribution of the population is unknown. By analyzing a sample, researchers can predict the normal distribution of the greater population, thus providing valuable insights into groups of people. This proves that it's not just the population that counts, but also the population's distribution. With the right statistical tools, researchers have the ability to draw powerful conclusions from small amounts of data. The Limits of Statistics Statistics provide a guide, not the answer. Analysts use expert judgment, methodology and common sense to make informed estimates. Statistical inference allows us to measure the likelihood of something being true, but not prove it outright. Testing and observation remain the fundamental methods for proving a hypothesis. Deciphering poll results A poll's statistical analysis is valuable yet misleading. The error percentage determines the data's confidence level. Consistency in the first and subsequent sample populations is crucial. Context is crucial for viewing the poll results, like any other statistical data. Capturing every response is impossible. The value of program evaluation. In process of program evaluation, analysts measure interventions causal effects and evaluate various data sets impact. The book delves into the importance of considering multiple data points while assessing ancillary data, such as whether a Harvard education guarantees success or if affording an Ivy League education provides an advantage. It also explores whether attending a state school produces the same level of success as top-tier schools. Overall, the process of program evaluation highlights the value in evaluating program outcomes to improve future interventions and maximize success. Power and Pitfalls of Regression Analysis Regression analysis is a powerful tool that helps researchers draw insights from complex data sets. It quantifies relationships between variables and outcomes, and identifies meaningful patterns. However, its misuse can lead to incorrect conclusions. This article describes seven common abuses of regression analysis, including measuring nonlinear relationships, mistaking correlation for causation, reverse causality, omitted variable bias, highly correlated explanatory variables, extrapolation of data, and data mining. The author emphasizes the importance of using the right questions and framework, determining the correct variables, and checking results against common sense. While statistics enables analysis of risk and informed decision-making, analysts must be aware of the pitfalls of regression analysis.
In conclusion, Naked Statistics emphasizes the vital role that statistics play in comprehending the data-driven world we live in. Statistics not only help summarize large amounts of information, but also empower people to make better decisions and identify patterns within data. Be mindful of the pitfalls in data collection and analysis, such as biases and misleading statements, and recognize the need for sound judgment alongside statistical findings. By understanding the language of statistics, learning to differentiate between correlation and causation, assessing the value and limitations of predictive models, and applying common sense, one can make more informed decisions and navigate an increasingly complex world.